All right, guys, you're at the USA News Channel, and this is a Newsweek article dated the 12th of, or the 13th of December. North Korea's Kim Jong-un promises to build more A-bombs, H-bombs, and missiles while honoring rocket scientists. So uh, here's a, a video here that kind of goes through some of the things that they said. It says, large-scale nuclear war exercises conducted by the U.S. This is a North Korean broadcast. And uh, they're saying, um, are continuously creating a volatile situation on the Korean Peninsula. And it says, um, let's see what else they said here. It says, um, the series of violent war remarks coming from high-level U.S. politicians during such a situation um, have made it such that an outbreak of war on the Korean Peninsula is believed to be an established fact. The question remains is now when war will break out. We do not wish for war, but shall not avoid it. Uh, we will surely make the U.S. pay with... Um, that says, if the U.S. miscalculates our patience, it's really hard to read this, for with our mighty nuclear force, which we have consistently strengthened. Um, so that's basically what they've said. You know how they, they talk. And uh, it looks like Tillerson has actually said that he's willing to sit down and negotiate without any preconditions. It looks to me like, you know, right before a fight, you know, they try to make peace. Usually the one that's the strongest usually tries to make peace because he knows he's going to utterly crush and destroy the weaker opponent. And if there's goodwill and true um, intent to, to make things right, they will usually make overtures and try to come down in a negotiating posture. And this is kind of what it seems like we're doing right now. But it doesn't look like Kim Jong-un's really will, willing to take the offer. Though it did seem like what he said there, we're not willing to have war. That might have been a little bit of a toned down rhetoric, possibly, um, coming from North Korea. But it says, for Kim Jong-un's North Korea's current military arsenal is just not enough. On Tuesday, the North Korean leader pledged to create more nuclear weapons as he was awarding scientists and officials who have contributed to the construction of the Haswang 15 deemed one of the country's most advanced intercontinental missiles Reuters reported Kim said during a two-day munitions conference that his group of scientists and workers will continue making more weapons and equipment to bolster up the nuclear force in quality and quantity Reuters added, citing a report by the country's central news agency on Wednesday, he added at the close of the ceremony that Pyongyang should create and build more diverse weapons. It says, according to state media, Kim solemnly declared that development of new strategic weapons systems, including A-bomb, H-bomb, and ICBM H uh, Haswang 15 with indigenous efforts and technology and the realization of the great cause of compelling the state nuclear force serve as a great historic victory of our party and the people of the country. Now, <laughs> that's been probably translated into English. Now, what I've understood also is that um, Dennis Rodman is also intimated in on his Twitter page that he's actually on his way to North Korea. You know, Kim Jong-un, he, he claims to be his friend. And he's going to try to broker a peace, which should be interesting. I, I wish him all the best, and hopefully there can be some peace that comes out of this. But it does look, does look like we're trying to really stop the progression toward a nuclear conflict with North Korea. It would be very bad for China if this ever did happen. Um, it says Kim celebrated the creation of the Haswang 15 during the conference. The latest missile was tested on November 29th and registered an altitude of almost 4,500 miles, a farther reach than its predecessor, the Haswang 14, considered by some experts as North Korea's first intercontinental weapon. At the time of its launch test last summer, the Haswang 14 reached a range of nearly 4,000 miles, a distance that could never 
or could cover much of Alaska. While experts believe that Haswang 15 represents a bigger threat, its range can hit anywhere in the continental U.S. Others have noticed several flaws in the missile's images. Uh, Marco Langborg, a space expert, told CNN that North Korea's uh, North Korea tampered some of the Haswang 15 pictures. You should see constellations that are opposites in the sky. That is not the case, he added. So it looks like they might have been photoshopping stuff because maybe something didn't work out the way they thought. Who knows? Other experts cited by Reuters added that North Korea still has to improve technical ideas before effectively completing the development of a missile that could impact the entire U.S. territory. Nevertheless, North Korea's missile tests have prompted the U.S., South Korea, and Japan to conduct military drills, according to Newsweek citing media reports. South Korea's military announced that the three allies have conducted exercises using their Aegeus destroyer warships as well as a computer-simulated detection and tracking of launched missiles by Pyongyang in order to share and ana analyze data. This is the sixth time trilateral drills were performed since June of 2016. In the wake of the isolated mission, uh, nation's missile test, President Donald Trump's National Security Advisor H.R. McAllister or McMaster said during an event Tuesday that the best chance to avoid conflict with North Korea is right now because the time is running out. And uh, Nikki Haley, while she was being interviewed last week said that we would utterly destroy North Korea so you know if there, if there was ever a conflict but we are trying to diplomatically you know ease our way out of this conflict with them that's escalating by the hour so hopefully nothing really comes of this but you know from what I've just heard they're about to test make another missile test I don't know if you guys heard this it just came over the wire not too a few bit about an hour or two ago that they're getting prepared for another missile test so get ready i don't know what's going to happen if they do that boy boy <sighs> things are heating up well this is the usa news channel please subscribe and uh, be prepared for some interesting times god bless